Hey guys, Zach Magic here. Very excited today to show you uh, the passing campaign. Uh, it's the new DLC that came out. And uh, I'm going to show you my third playthrough of a single player campaign. And uh, this video is for the first level. I'm just going to walk you through it. If you're thinking about buying the passing and you haven't yet, this will show you what you're in for as far as the campaign goes. And uh, I'm also going to talk about some of the new stuff and the achievements. And uh, I'm going to have uh, two other videos, one for each of the other levels, where I'm going to talk about pretty much uh, the same types of things. But it's going to be different content, so you're going to want to check those out too. I'll probably put them in a playlist for you, make it easy. But anyway, you can see the passing poster there with the tagline, uh, which is cool. So, uh, loading up the first level now, and this is the level that has the uh, wedding part at the end of it. Um, as you can see, I got Francis as the survivor I get to talk to, and uh, sometimes you'll get Zoe. Uh, you'll never get Lewis because uh, he's injured, and you'll never get Bill because, spoiler alert, he's dead. It's very sad. And uh, we'll talk more about that uh, in the video for the third level. Uh, but for now, I'm going to grab this golf club. It's the new melee weapon. It's awesome. Um, and a lot of times I've played this campaign. There's a Fallen Survivor right there, by the way. Um, a lot of times I've played this campaign, I have started with a golf club right next to the car. And the first time I played through this on a single player, that was the first, first achievement I got. I just picked it up and I kept on... Uh, using it until I got the achievement. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really do decapitations as much as it like completely blows up the uh, common infected's head. And that's how you get the achievement uh, four. You have to do that 18 times. Um, saw me kill a fallen survivor earlier. That's new uncommon common. Uh, they drop uh, they drop items. I think the one I killed dropped a health pack and some other stuff. They usually have two or three items that they'll drop. Uh, they are a little harder to kill than regular common infected and after they notice you they will try to run away from you so you want to kill them quick and uh, there's an achievement for picking up so many items from them too. Uh, just a little tidbit if you go in this bathroom there's always a health cache there and it usually has one thing of pills in it Let's so you want to beat all your teammates to that so you can get the pills. Uh, you want to check these rooms. Sometimes there's foot lockers in these rooms. Uh, sometimes there's other items. There's a foot locker right there. And there's an achievement for opening up uh, five of those, I think. Uh, so if you're playing with other people that don't have that achievement, make sure you're the first one to open it up so it counts towards yours and not theirs. And as you can see, there's a bunch of pills in there. Uh, it's a different item each. Uh, for lucky you open and uh, that's an infinite supply right there so I could have taken five things of pills and I could have still picked them up but now we're gonna go through uh, this bar and um, sometimes uh, up at the end of this bar on the last booth on the right as you can see right there sometimes there's a grenade launcher so you want to check that spot and you want to check this room because there's usually a foot locker in here this one has Molotovs um, and as far as I can tell, the, um, Foot Lockers, I mean, I, I guess you could just camp out at one and keep using the item, but I don't know if you'd want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're in versus mode, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, there's a spitter I'm chasing. I'm gonna hit it with the golf club. Down here. But yeah, as I told you before, this is my third uh, single player playthrough on easy, and uh, after playing through twice, I got all, I think it's uh, six achievements that you can get uh, in campaign mode, and uh, the only ones I needed after that was uh, the four that you need to play other modes for, uh, Port of Scavenge, uh, Wedding Crasher, uh, the Mutation one, and maybe one other one I don't know but the achievements are for the most part pretty easy Over here. Um, there's usually a pistol on that table right there 
And uh, in the part I just passed outside, a lot of those cars have alarms on them, so you want to be careful of that. And sometimes you'll get a tank there too. So if, if you get a tank there, you definitely want to be careful not to set off the alarms. Uh, when you go in this room, straight ahead right now, uh, to the right, uh, sometimes there's uh, tier 2 weapons there, so you want to check that. And if there's not, you can go up here, and sometimes there's tier 2 weapons here, which uh, there's tier 1 weapons and uh, a couple of tier 2 weapons. But I'm going to grab a shotgun uh, so that I can crown the Bride Witch, because who doesn't want to do that? Uh, I'm usually not a fan of the pump shotgun. I usually take an Uzi as my tier 1 weapon uh, and then take a shotgun when I get to tier 2 weapons because I like the auto shoddy but uh, I'm gonna grab one just so I can crown the witch and uh, you can take any of these bridges across I just went all the way to the last one and then uh, went across and now we're gonna go into the wedding area where you will see zombies in formal attire which is so awesome and uh, just gonna pummel them with my golf club some more. Uh, maybe dodge this charger. Yeah. Nice shot. But um, right here is a spot uh, with all those chairs. Uh, first of all, there's the bride witch. She's got a veil and uh, she's got a garter, uh, which you can see if she attacks you, uh, which is cool. But all those chairs right there—that's where where you do the uh, wedding crasher achievement with the charger in versus mode. And um, I was able to get that achievement uh, with some friends of mine uh, who set it up. Some advice is try to get enough people to fill the uh, infected team because otherwise uh, the AI survivor bots might, uh, it might be a little more difficult to set things up with them constantly attacking you. Um, and we were trying to get that achievement for some other people and it looks like it might be glitched or it might just be hard to get because of the way the charger works but a few times we thought we went through eight chairs and it didn't count it and a few times uh, we would charge a survivor into the chairs and then instead of crashing through the chairs it would just uh, hit the chairs and then he would start pounding them into the floor like without going through any other chairs. So, you might have some trouble with that achievement. Uh, we we'll probably try to do a video on it uh, with some tips, but um, it can work because I got the achievement and a couple of my other friends got the achievement. Uh, so, it's not completely glitched. Uh, it just might take a while for you, for you to get. That's the spot you want to do it in. Uh, on that radio that was back there, I can't remember if I played it or not, um, but you can play the Midnight Riders new song. It does not count for the achievement though, you have to find an actual jukebox and play it on that for the achievement. But it's fun to play it there too. Uh, if you play it there though, um, I think it startles the witch and whoever started the uh, radio counts as the person who startled the witch. I've had some people tell me that it doesn't, but we've tried it twice and it's startled her both times so I don't know just be careful of that but yeah that's level one of the passing and uh, check out the next video level two see you guys later and that is how you do it